Hey, my name is Gaia Athena and in this video I'm going to talk to you about The Avond is Ongemak by Marieke Lucas Reinevel. In English, this book is called The Discomfort of Evening. Um, it is the winner of the International Booker Prize 2020, which is why I decided to pick it up. I don't normally um, really pay attention to such prizes, uh, not specifically pick up the books. I don't read a whole lot of like really literary fiction. But it doesn't happen that often that somebody Dutch wins this prize. It, I'm not sure if this, this could in fact even be the first time, I'm not sure, um, the specific book prize. So, I don't know, it just it just made me pick it up. Um, and obviously I read it in Dutch because that's the original. So this is a very literary work. Um, it is about a girl named Jas who is growing up. Oh wait, here is the... It talks about the... This is the discomfort of evening translation. So the translation of this book has appeared in 30 countries. Discomfort of evening translated by Michelle Hutchinson um, won the award of the International Book Prize 2020, and I'm translating that from Dutch. Um, so this book is about Jas. Um, she is a. Um, the book is about her family. They are very religious, um, in Dutch it's called gereformeerd. I am not sure though what that would be in English. I don't know if reformed, is that even? I really don't know, I'm sorry. Um, they're a farmer's family, um, so, so she has some siblings, she has two parents, um, her mother and father, and it's about the, this, this girl just yes, growing up. And I struggled a bit with this book in the beginning. Um, like I said, I don't often read um, books like this. Um, I, I had to get used to the writing style. Um, it's quite descriptive, and um, it it in, in the beginning it takes a bit of time for my feeling before something happened. I'm used to reading more fast-paced books, if that makes sense. Uh, whereas this started off slower. Um, I did really enjoy um, like some of these like Dutch things. Um, I enjoyed reading about like the, the farm stuff. But as the book went on, I got more into it. In the beginning, I doubted whether I was going to DNF it. Um, but I, I didn't. I stuck with it. And after a while, I started to enjoy it more, liking it more. Um, there are some hard hitting topics and scenes in this um, so just so you know and the ending was a surprise to me um, um, would I recommend that this book uh, that depends I think who asks I mean most of my recommendations are like that um, if you like this sort of thing um, then yes but it, it's definitely not for everyone and it is not I gave it an 8 out of 10 um, it's not like 100% my thing, um, but I, I don't regret reading it. I guess maybe beforehand I wasn't as prepared for like, sorry, how it was going to be and, but I, this is one messed up fan. So yeah, um, but I don't often, um, I don't really normally pick up books because solely because of the reason that they've won a certain award or prize. So I, I can't really compare it in that sense, but yeah, um, in the end it was a nice read. Thank you very much for watching this video and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!